community still means something here. There's one thing I'd ask for in exchange, though. You said before you've met pilgrims. They as cunning as they say? I've seen many pilgrims, but only known one. People say they're criminals, no conscience, no principles. You'll have to be the judge. In 23, Berlin fell. All of Germany was lost. My friend Bernard got work for us in Dortmund. The plan, take a year doing jobs others wouldn't and spend every penny on medication. We'd return with the medicine and set up our families for life. I'm not proud of what we did, but we did it. At the end of the year, we went home. When we got to Leipzig, it was surrounded by bandits and slavers. One day, Bernard returned with a woman who claimed to be a pilgrim. She agreed to see us through bandit territory for a bottle of Antizen, already very valuable at the time. She knew every path, hiding spot, bandit camp for miles, knew how to avoid the infected. She kept us close to the Elbe River as if she was tracking something. Finally, we reached the crossing, and we were very close to home. But the pilgrim, she insisted that we wait until morning. I was restless, so close to home. Something moving in the camp woke me in the middle of the night. I saw the pilgrim slinking into the woods with our meds. But before I could wake Bernard, slavers attacked the camp and overpowered us. They threw us into their ramshackle boat moored nearby, we were a prize, as the other slaves on the ship were children. And they were tipped off by the Pilgrim, who'd made a double score, us and our meds. We were about to set sail when the boat sprang a huge leak. Knew it! Now, I've seen a lot of good fighters in my life, but her? She was... Whew, something else. It was like watching a dark angel perform a deadly dance could barely see her move. But soon enough, all the slavers were dead or drowning in the river. This is why I don't trust pilgrims. After making sure all the slaves were safely ashore, the boat scuttled, the pilgrim approached one girl. The child recoiled, but recognition dawned in her eyes. They embraced and cried softly. It was a moment of peace. Every night, I dreamed of reuniting with my daughter. Family is the first community. She'd used us to get the slaver ship to come ashore to rescue her child. She apologized, then told us where she'd hidden our meds. I asked her, do you expect us to thank you? She looked to her daughter. No. She's all I need. <laughs> Good story, mate.